Charlie's Bakery is a kaapse instelling soos min. Dit is al onbekend dat jy nie sommer die bakkerij se koek en kolwijnkies in die oog kan kyk en dan nie dankie sê nie. Die span van Charlie's is so kunstig ingestel dat al kreatieve energie oorspoel na die buitenkant van hul gebou. En nou, met die nieuwe project wat reeds halfpad klaar is, tot op die mire van die ouwe substasie oor kantel bezigheid. Mac Wan, um, who is the graffiti artist who is doing Substation 13 and I, were sitting across the road at the bakery and we were looking around at all of, it was shortly after we had moved in here, we'd been looking at all of the buildings in the area and we were talking about how this area with the design capital 2014 coming up really needed to be prettified. Um, we saw this building behind us, it was beige and peeling and gross and we just decided we got to make the city pretty. Getting permission for the public art was probably not one of the easiest things in the world. We got as far as painting the building white just to get rid of the beige and um, we had police arriving here threatening to arrest our graffiti artist and stop everything that was going on um, and they camped out for the rest of the day to check that we weren't doing anything so we then had to go about getting permission the conventional route we went to city council and we actually finally got our i think around the end of november got our permission for public art on substation 13. We realized that this, this particular road even is the last road of District 6. We decided that we were going to take the history of District 6, as important as it is, and it really is, um, we were going to take the present of the fringe area and the future of what the fringe district is actually going to be, being the hub of the design capital for 2014. So we went down to the District 6 Museum, we looked at different poets and musicians, um, different aspects of District 6 that we could incorporate from the past that would still resonate within people today um, but stuff that would also speak to the future of the country rather than living in the past a lot. I think we are probably the most patriotic people that exist in business in Cape Town. We're, we're, we're really like, I think for us, I mean the fact that we sit at the foot of Table Mountain um, our bakery is everything to do with amazingness about this country. We have I Heart Cape Town and I Heart South Africa cupcakes and cookies on our counter every day. We've got Africa shaped cookies that say Africa for all and local is lekker. We are the most proud ambassadors of the city that we could possibly be. I, I really don't know why anyone else would want to be anywhere else in the world. We have it all.